I was a young priest a couple of years. I visited a Maronite church in Detroit, in the heart of Detroit, and a lady out of nowhere, um, Maronite lady, just said, you want to have a successful parish? And she wasn't talking about successful as in people are coming in and, you know, you want to have a faithful parish. She said, uh, open up a chapel, a 24-hour adoration chapel. You'll make, you'll see the difference that it'll make in the parish. It stayed in my heart and uh, it took a few years when somebody stepped up and said, I think we need a chapel here. And I have to say that um, we've put, and, and most of our parishes uh, in Detroit, we have 10 Keldian parishes in Detroit, and a um, good many of them have a chapel, and if there isn't, there's a chapel, a Eucharistic chapel next to uh, one of the parishes, even in the Latin Rite parishes. And um, we have in our diocese 12 parishes, one mission, 14 seminarians. And the vast majority of the seminarians um, got their call or got their strengthening of their call from retreats, from prayer, adoration chapel. And that, that's changed a lot of people's lives. And um, I'm not saying we're uh, booming where we need to be. Uh, we have a struggle to bring Jesus like everybody else. But the one thing that we have and, and the most successful of our priests are those who intimately put an hour a day um, with the Eucharist and with Jesus. It's changed parishes, it's changed lives. This is where as an Easterner, um, I come in and say, this is one of the greatest ways that you can pray. Um, the mass is a phenomenal gift where angels and saints are praying and adoring and adoration chapels as well as um, uh, adoration times. Uh, these are, this is what will bring the people together. A lot of it has to do with um, not finding um, satisfaction elsewhere and finding where, you know, this is my home. I think it's profound and it's a wonderful gift.